Have you tweaked too much this year? Well, good question. Um, no, no, I don't believe we have. We, we've... Yeah, we're not playing the same game we played last year. Um, and sometimes that can occur because, you know, you, you can be putting effort into the areas that, that, where it's not needed. You know, a little bit more pressure comes as, you know, you're getting loss after loss and then guys are going away from their individual roles or their responsibilities. And so the system breaks down with that. And it can be such a, uh, you know, a fine line between being in a position where the team needs you and maybe having a crack at the footy. So we, we've, um, we've had a great week from a learning point of view. Um, unfortunately, we've now done that for a couple of weeks and it's small things popping up each week. But the difference between getting the job done and, and not getting the job done can be really fine at times. Um, we're, we're confident now we'll come out with a, um, you know, a stronger game going into what has been a short week against a really good opponent. So. Our challenge is to now get that stuff right, trust each other, get back to what we did really well last season and the reason that the expectation was there early this season. How much of a focus has been on a ball movement given that this looks like you're a lot wider than you were last year and a lot less speed on the ball? Yeah, and, and again, it's not necessarily our ball movement. Our, our skills aren't up to the standard we'd like them to be and that comes off sometimes the shape on the ground. So... You know, it's obvious in this TV screen that you know we're missing kicks that we would have hit last year. Um, there's more to that than than just the, the execution. Sometimes that's about our shape, so we'll we'll go to work on that as well. Is that just bad luck? Do you just have too many players out of form at the same time? No, th there's no luck involved. There's there's a certain system that we play to, and when we play our best footy, it it runs you know smoothly. At the moment, it's just not. We're it, you know. We're, it's a bumpy road for us at this point. We've got to find our, our way back to, I guess, simplifying what it is, the areas we've got to get right, and then you know, trust that the contest will look after itself and um, we'll get the things right that we are, but also get our shape right off the ball. Um, yeah, I, I believe the guys got together and had a chat around execution. And so this week, it's an interesting week because we're on a shorter week leading into Thursday night footy. So they wanted to make sure we get, I mean, our main session really will be tomorrow, which is a captain's run. Um, so for this, this young group, that's probably a first that they've experienced that. So the ability to get some skills in, you know, they did a light extra session on uh, you know, earlier in the week, um, which was great for them to get out there and get a little bit more touchy. They were able to come together post game before you addressed them and said, "This isn't good enough. And we need to fix this ourselves." Oh, our players have, have always worked. You know, we've got some fantastic leaders that that get the group together and talk about how we're going to improve and what we need to work on. Uh, so that's not new. Is that uh, the skipper's form? I think it's around forty nine percent or something like for, for one of the better kicks in the competition. Is that sort of just indicative of the whole team and where they're at? Yeah, and that, that's the connection piece that's not there at the moment. It's not necessarily Jordan's skill execution. Or at times, I mean, we've all made mistakes. Um, but that's a connection piece. That's, you know, where are we in the positions we should be? Is it predictable to each other? And at the moment, we're not getting that right. Picking moving to, um, back to defence, does that obviously weigh down for the rest of the season? And can get some way there with his ball movement, um, sending up down there? Yeah, it'd be nice to have Geordie in every line. Um, but we're, we're not able to do that. But th that's not to say that at times he won't go to halfback. Um, you know, we, we like to be flexible in, in who can play where, and he's, he's got that ability. I, you know, when he first came to the club, he, he started as a halfback, but it's not something we're going to jump to. How big a loss has James Riley been? He was assistant coach of the year last year and looking after the forward line that was the highest in the competition. Oh, has that been, have we yeah. underestimated that? Oh, I think there's always a turnover in staff at, at a football club, as there is with players. Um, so that's nothing new. I mean, we, we look to turn the coaching group over and add you know, new uh, people in with new ideas, new IP every year. So that's not, that's not something that's out of the ordinary. Obviously, your forward line was kind of, that was one of your strengths last year. Do you look at that, given that getting points on the scoreboard has been such a struggle, do you look at that as a good thing, at least, well, you know, we've shown that we can do that in the past? Yeah, we know we've got a lot of upside. Um, we're not performing anywhere near the level as a team that we, ne we know we can. Um, 
So you can take a positive out of that, that there's plenty of room for us to, to still improve on. Um, and as I mentioned before, there's a connection piece to all of this. You know, I'm very mindful that we don't lock in on one area and, and say, hey, your forwards aren't performing, because that's not the case. Yeah, that's a lot of criticism as you outside the club. How do you stop that, I guess, infiltrating the, the negativity coming inside the clubs? Yeah, I, I understand the noise. I mean, when you're 0-3, there's, there's a reason there's a lot of noise there. Um, because the expectation from our members and supporters is we play a brand of footy that they enjoy watching. At the moment, you know, there's good reason they're not enjoying watching that footy. We're playing poor footy. Um, but from an internal point of view, we, we get to work. So, you know, put our heads down. What it is, what is it we need to work on? And we've got to get that right. Because ultimately, we're here to entertain. We're here to put a show on. We're not doing that at the moment. In terms of your season, is it almost do or die against Melbourne? I mean, you know, zero and four, I think one team, you know, since 2000 or something has made finals from there and given you said the finals was the game? Uh, I've, I've seen teams in the past, 0 and 6, that have come through and played some pretty good footy in the latter part of the season. So we're not looking at the, the record win-loss at the moment. We're looking at Melbourne Thursday night, looking at how we get that done. Um, the best thing for us is we're on a short break. We come into a gather round, which is, which is well, proven to be spectacular last year and will be again. Um, should be a sold-out house. Yeah, we, we're just looking forward to the next challenge. Do you look back at that Carlton game last year? You were able to harness some sort of energy around how the round that seemed to kickstart your season and sort of set the tone mm. for the rest of the year. Do you look back at what you got right that night? Yeah, we, we, we do a lot of that, not necessarily just that Carlton game, but we, we like to go back and have a look at what it is, you know, what are we doing when we're at our best? Um, and it, it's not as simple as hitting targets by foot. There's more to it than that. And I've, I've I'm hopefully I've given you a little bit of direction on where we're going and a lot of that is the shape on the ground. Do we look up and know where our teammate's going to be? Are we connected? Is there cohesion there? Well, at the moment, that's not what we're seeing. Um, we know we can change that quickly. Given you said that's a big focus, I mean, for those fans who are probably calling for, you know, lots of changes for this week, you know, drop these people, bring in, you know, a bunch of people from the sample team, are they probably going to be disappointed then because you focus on that cohesion and connection? Um... Well, there will be a couple of changes, unfortunately forced. Um, you know, Wayne won't play and will be missing footy for, for a long period of time. Uh, Murphy's going to be, you know, possibly anything up to you know, three to five weeks uh, with his knee injury. So we're going to have a couple of forced changes. Um, we have some players that are playing at SANFL level that have been unlucky not to play in the first couple of rounds that have, you know, Showing some really good form through pre-season. Um, so they're knocking on the door. We've still got a squad at this point because we've got a, you know, without a session this week as such, we, our, our main session will be tomorrow. So we'll finalise that tomorrow. Um, but we're not going to make changes unless we feel they're necessary. But we will see some change in our team this week and that'll be guys that are ready to go. The injury to Murphy, what is the work? Uh, so lateral, you can help me with that one. Lateral, lateral ligament in his knee, yeah. So... Um, Mindful of putting a time frame on it until it settles a little, but it's probably three to five weeks, unfortunately. Is Billy Dowling in a potential chance for a day, given how strong he was in the sample on the weekend? Yeah, Billy had a, a you know really strong game at, at SNFL level. Continues to improve. He's an accumulator. You know, can find the footy. Um, so, yeah, he's put his name up. Yeah, I, as, as I mentioned with the players, it's, it's ongoing. We're always looking at ourselves as a coaching group, you know, as far as our personal development goes and how are we operating as a team. Um, that's not new either. That's something that we do weekly. Um, you know, we review our own game, uh, look at how maybe we can help the players, especially in the lead up, what, you know, some of the language around what we need. And there's a fine line between providing too much information and not enough. So we're constantly balancing that. Um, you're looking at the game now, you know, are we stripping it back slightly to a couple of real key areas? Yeah, that's, that's probably where we're going as a group and then our ability then to ramp it back up as, as we find our form. Do you, need, do you need to convince fans again of how the team's tracking? Like, uh, well, I, yeah, hopefully, this, hopefully we're able to do that Thursday night. Um, yeah, we know how quickly we're able to turn this around. 
um, we're confident we've found what it is that's letting us down over these first you know, two or three weeks. In saying that, you know, we are in the fight in, in week one and we played a half a footy. Um, so now we've just got to get out there and prove it. Hearing you speak last night, it reminded me a little bit of Michael Boss and Carlton's plight last year and, and how it, it took quite some time to turn it around. So is there an element of, one, you can take a little bit of inspiration from that, but two, it might be a case that this is not going to be an immediate fix and it might be take a step back, take two steps forward? Yeah, I, I, I guess where we're confident is that we've been here previously. We've been here as a group. Um, so sitting through this week and reviewing what the area is we need to improve, the group are nearly driving that themselves. So that's where you feel confident as a coaching group that we've got a, pl we've got a playing group that are going to be able to turn this around quickly. But I guess it will be tested Thursday night on where we're at with that.